Hey folks, Chris here from Hitting the Trail. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Whatever Wednesdays. So today uh, we're gonna be dealing with something that is kind of cool, but sometimes kind of not cool. It's air conditioning. So if you watched our previous video um, a couple weeks ago on a soft start RV, we found a way that we could make sure we could run our air conditioners with 30 amps or on a generator because we have two, again, two 15K AC in it. Well, our family, we like to stay cool. And one of the issues that most people have with air conditioning units in RVs is airflow. So these units may have 15,000 BTUs, but they have to cool an entire RV in some cases. Now we have two AC units, but only one of them is ducted, which means that this one 15K AC is hitting, having to push air to nine different ducts throughout the entire uh, RV. So when you're trying to do that, if you have any lack of efficiency or airflow, you're just not gonna get cool. We like to be cool. So we went looking for a product that could help us solve some of the airflow issues that could result from this trying to push air to nine different ducts. And the product that we found is called RV Airflow. Now RV Airflow did not sponsor this video. They did not provide any product. We purchased this product ourselves. This is an RV Airflow. And what this actually does is take the air that's coming from your AC unit and coming into the main area and or being distributed to the nine ducts and grabs 100% of that air in through here and pushes it out to your ducts. When you run your AC, you can push your airflow in two different ways. The first is just through these dumps. When they're open, the air comes straight through. The second is through the ducts. To use that, you just close the dump systems, right? Well, inside this chamber, you have basically an open area. And in that space, you're losing airflow. Some of it does come directly out. Uh, some of it's getting pushed out, but then it's actually getting sucked back in. So you're losing efficiency. So what the RV airflow system does, again, everything comes right into this section and then blows out the side into the ducts. The one thing you will do is you will lose the ability to just run it directly off of the dumps. Those basically become useless at this point, but you are going to get up to a 40% improvement in airflow. That will, that's according to RV airflow. So I did take an anometer and went and registered every single one of the ducts, running it on cool high before doing the install. And then after the install, I'm gonna run this again and we're gonna check the numbers and just see how accurate the, the system is. If you're interested in the RV Airflow system, make sure you just go to their website, www.rvairflow.com and verify if your AC unit is actually compatible with the system. Uh, we have the Coleman Mach 15 here, that one is compatible. Uh, otherwise, you can take measurements and they've got all the information that you need on their website to do this. All right, so now we're going to get to installation. When your RV airflow system arrives, what you're going to get in the box is the main system. You're going to get two duct detachments that will help direct the airflow directly into the ducts. And you're also going to get an instruction sheet. To install the system, you are going to need some tools a step stool or ladder, cordless drill, Phillips head number two screwdriver or drill adapter head, square head number two screwdriver or drill adapter head, a utility knife, and then you also will need a torque wrench. All right, so the first step is taking off your air filters. Now that you've got the filters off, you're gonna remove the four screws that hold your cover, your main cover on. So in this case, we actually have a square head, but some of these may be a Phillips head screwdriver. Before I take off the inside cover, I want to show you. So you have a return side and you have a supply side. The supply side is what's pushing that air down. So in your standard configuration, the air is being forced from the supply down through this small chamber, and that hits the top of your outside uh, cover. So it either pushes air along this channel through your two dumps, I'll show you from the other side. These are what you open and close. So it either pushes through there or when those are closed, it forces it back up and through ducts, which are on either side. So it's not a very efficient use. And what the airflow system does is basically takes all this out of play 
and forces the air 100% from here directly to your ducts. All right, now we're gonna take out the inside cover. And again, that's just four more screws. All right, now that we've got the cover off, the next thing is taking out this one inch separator. So it may be in there glued. Ours is simply turn it and pull it out. But you won't be needing this either, so you can discard that as well. So here's a better look inside the unit. You have supply, you have return. So your air is being forced down through here. And then when your dumps were closed on the original configuration, it was actually forcing the air back up and through these ducts on either side. But again, there's a, there was a large void here. And so it was inefficient. Our next step is removing these lag bolts. Now these lag bolts are what actually hold your AC unit down to the roof. So they're in there pretty well. Uh, the RV airflow system doesn't tell you which size of uh, nut this might actually be. For us, it's gonna be a 5 16 Now you can choose to do this by hand. I I'm gonna use the drill though. All right, so one thing you probably want to do is maybe have a second set of hands holding this metal plate and or getting ready to catch the leg bolt. Did I mention I'm not a professional? Because I'm not. All right, now that you don't have any head trauma, your next step is going to be checking your ducts. What you're looking for is any loose foil or any uh, duct inserts that the manufacturer may have placed in there. Now we're going to insert our duct inserts into the ducts uh, and what you're looking for is the sheer side you want it face towards the back or away from your return so the supply is here the sheer side will be facing back that direction and first we're going to test fit these before we take the adhesive tape off and just make sure that they fit inside your duct Now this plastic is not gonna go flush up against the wall. You do have this foam insert there and that's gonna allow when you push the airflow system into it, it's gonna put some cushion and actually create uh, a better contact with the airflow so you don't have, or with the airflow system so you don't lose air flow. I'm saying airflow a lot, aren't I? All right. So ours fit, we don't have uh, any space in there, which is perfect. So now I'm gonna pull them back out, take the adhesive off and then reinsert them. Now that the duct inserts are in, we're going to install the actual airflow device. So if you look above me, you see the supply and it's gonna match up with this. It's pretty intuitive. So airflow says to try at a 45 degree angle and insert. Ours is actually fitting without having to cut anything, which is nice. But one thing you're gonna to wanna to look at is two of your four leg bolts are going to insert through this. So you wanna make sure that those match up. So I now have a assistant which I probably should have had in the first place because now we're going to put the metal plate back on with the leg bolts so Susanna is going to hold this up here for me we're going to line these up all right so when you do this you want to alternate and I'm not going to put them in all the way I'm going to put them in loosely so we can make adjustments. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The last step is putting the cover back on.
And then we're gonna return the air filters. Yeah, I think it's not backwards. The writing was going the other direction when we started, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> Now these air dumps, like I said before, they're no longer part of the equation. So you can, I guess you can leave them open, you can leave them closed. I think we're just gonna leave them closed and I think it looks better. Let's test it out. All right, so we have the AC running on cool high. And just putting my hand there, I can tell a difference, but I am gonna run through every single one of the vents with the anemometer, and then I'll come back with the results and let you know, did we really see an increase in how much? All right, so I finished measuring all the airflow from all the ducts, and I honestly have to say I'm really impressed. So the RV airflow system, uh, I think it works fantastic. Uh, so I'm gonna, here's what you're looking at. I'll show you the numbers here. So I measured before from every one of the ducts, we have nine of them that the Coleman Mach 15 runs to in our Tandera 385. So you can see on the center there that miles per hour without the RV airflow and then with the airflow I mean it's pretty easy to see an increase but then there's the percent increase and that the smallest increase was only 19% but still that's almost a 20% increase in airflow and then uh, an average overall increase of 33% which is really cool um, literally in all honesty I so my anometer I didn't make like a cup and set it in there to capture all the airflow but I held it exactly in the same spot or tried to on each duct uh, on the pre and post so is this 100% accurate no but could I have screwed up so much that you're gonna see a 50% increase because I was holding a different way no you do see results for the RV airflow so really really happy uh, to see that now what does an RV airflow system cost Kind of depends on your unit. So we have a Coleman Mach 15, and currently those are running $170. But you could save 15% if you use the link in our description down below. Uh, you click on the link, it'll take you to a thing and say, hey, do you want to save 15%? I love saving money. I hope you love saving money, and hopefully we can save you some money. All right, so thank you for watching. I hope this video helped. If it did, make sure you give a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. You'll see more videos like this. So every Wednesday is a whatever Wednesday when we just do things. Might be cooking, might be RV hacks, installation, product reviews, you never know. And then on Sundays, we just have our regular travel videos or just RV life. But anyway, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. Thank you for watching, and remember, life's an adventure. Up on. Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.